thought I was better than you Before you had a chill on firehouse Bloated spleen, brown slip-ons Watercress and the chip madness I mean well that you know that has a significance to my childhood straight away because um, I grew up listening to madness as a kid and obviously they were quite associated with my father my dad but I think he got quite pissed off that I probably as a young child liked madness more than I liked his own music and dad not being quite a control freak may have disencouraged me sometimes from listening to them, but I was so dedicated that I, um, they sang happy birthday to me once on stage. They picked me up on stage and sang happy birthday. So, um, yeah, very fond. Well, I mean, you know, you can't really get better, more, more of a beautiful man. He lived in Paris, I think, John Coltrane, didn't he, in the end? Um, one of my favourite songs, favourite, you know, just favourite, I mean, just imagine, I can't even begin to explain, I don't have the vocabulary to begin to explain how much that album means to me, I love it. I right, right. uh, love that album. Um, you know, I, I started with Divide and Exit and I sort of didn't need to carry on further than that with them because that was the thing that I understood was their kind of best work and I haven't investigated it beyond that and I'm obviously I'm a good friend of Jason's so um, but I think that was a very important and amazing piece of work and there's a few sentences in that that are, are better than mine yes and the morning has me uh, well I mean what can you say really you know it's got some of the best arrangements ever weird kind of anti it's a really good anti music and then so sophisticated music they're a very weird uh, era of music and she's a sort of anomaly of all kinds i think she was the daughter of an ss soldier or something like that it was a bit of a murky past but i guess the whole of europe was a bit murky then um i can't begin to explain how much admiration i have for that album <laughs> Jesus, how well researched are you? Um, that is is a sort of gateway album for me. I listened to it about twelve years after it was made, and tried to you know when I heard it initially, I resisted its thinness, soul, over soulfulness, and I thought it was sort of modern, um, just frequencies that I didn't get my head around. And slowly, I've deconstructed it and I think it's one of my it's got a song on it called um, Super Rich Kids and I put it up in my top five ever written lyrically every single thing about it to me is perfect and I almost admire him more than I admire my own mother shit did I say that semble tout ignorer des trottoirs que j'accoste this feast I mean I can you, you can't really I'm, it's too much good music can't you put some shit ones in there I don't know what, you know, I mean, and yet again, I know everything about this album. You know, people always naturally thought I was really, really into Serge Gainsbourg, and I wasn't naturally. I mean, I really admire him as well, but I was never really, really into it. But this album, I guess, it has such an appeal and why everybody talks about it internationally. I think this is the first time that it really broadened, you know, all the hip-hop artists loved it, you know, Beck loved it, everyone loves it. And it's got a weird transatlantic, weird crossover. And I think it was recorded in England with a bunch of English musicians, I think. Um, and, and that shows. And not to say that I'm trying to claim why it's good, it's because of us. But I think it's just more, it, it's just, it, it's a shared experience. I won't disturb your rest. Where's little me? <laughs> um... I mean, you know, apart from the fact that I'm on the cover and it probably helped and and helped change my life in both good and bad ways. Um, I don't. I, I remember the second that the album was recorded because I, I was only five years old. Not recorded when the photo was taken, but actually as a piece of music, it's un, unchallenged, unparalleled possibly the best bit of British music made 
in that year, I'd say, even though I know it's a very nepotistic thing for me to say because it's my pappy, I don't think you can question every single note and word is almost perfect. Words in it. I mean, I can't really comment on my own music, but it was a it was a very quick, um, very lunch orientated album. We did. Um, Etienne likes to very traditionally likes to eat lunch at exactly the same time, and we ate a lot of lunch, and it was pretty pain free actually. Um, and I'm a sh- it's a shame we never got to play it live, but I think we would have argued. Even though I said the last seven or whatever they were were my favourite albums, probably, apparently, There's a Riot Going On is a response to Marvin Gaye's album, What's Going On. That might be a myth. And it's got a song on it called Running Away, which isn't naturally what everyone goes to as their favourite song, but Running Away is about hippies running away to become accountants. Isn't that the best concept ever? America's Kubla Khan. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is still freshly in my heart, so I, I really, I, I would never positively or negatively criticise myself, but I really enjoyed making this, and, and that enjoyment is still with me. Ask me again in a year, and you'll get a different story. For the moment, I really, really liked it, and I think everyone else should embrace it to their hearts. There's so much money on.